I mean, this this specific number hasn't been this impactful, but when the Fed says every single number is going to have a much larger impact and be more important, you have a number like this now starting to move the market by 10, 15 points. So I think going forward, the message has been set and it's pretty clear at this point that every single economic data point that comes out between now and the Fed, which is probably what, uh, less than two or three weeks out, um, is going to be something like this. We have a big jobs number out coming out, coming out tomorrow, I believe. So that now amplifies as well. So we'll, for now, with the market doing what it's doing, we just all we can do at this point, if you haven't caught, in a, caught the move early or right off the number, now you're kind of stuck waiting. So here's a couple levels that I'm going to be working with. 40-30 up top. That's been in place since uh, a couple days ago now. And 40-65, not 46, 39-65, that's held out. Uh, so yesterday it has held out. So anything below 90 is clearly is going to be bought up. So we're going to say 90 down to 65 is going to be your support zone. And if we can go up a little bit more, since we're already running, let's just go a little bit more, maybe into 40-15, 40-20. If they start to slow down at that point, I think you can now start working with the 40-35 potential shorts if they set up, of course, because the current trend is to the upside to respect the current trend. It does have to turn on you uh, before going for the short. It's just a matter of being aware that somewhere north of 4015 into 4030, there is going to be resistance. It's just a matter of how does it turn? Does it even turn? And does it set up on the short side for you to take a trade? That's all you can really do. I mean, once you've got a trade, you let it go. But if you don't have a trade and you're waiting for this market to just set something up, you have to let it come into your levels because what I've seen so far, at least from this number, so uh, and, and even yesterday a little bit, there's a lot of aggressive movement. It comes in bursts, right? Uh, we we cracked through 4,000 and we we went pretty hard, and now we're at 4,005. So it seems like it's going to come in bursts, and I think the next obvious burst would be the opening print or the opening volume, uh, as Neil said. So we'll see how that one shows up, and if it's going to be to the buy side and push this market a little bit higher into resistance zones that we can work with or if it comes to the sell side. Now, if it does come to the sell side, that could turn very quickly. So I'm just going to back off and say, we're going to have to wait for a long setup and we're going to have to wait for a short setup at this point in time. I think the long window has closed. It's just a matter of now managing position if you do have a position and just waiting for the next setup. Great stuff. Thanks, Arun. We'll check back.